Hello my friends in the waste industry. Today's topic, cleaning the blades behind in a waste truck and the rainy season is on its way. Hello my friends, uh, I'm David Miller. And I'm Mike Hall. And we specialize in the waste industry. Today's topic, cleaning the blades in a waste truck. Also, the rainy season is coming. But before we get to all that, Mike, would you agree that having a good team to service customers is important? Absolutely. Okay, so we're in Pub's Corner today. I'd like to talk about David Durbin. Also a guy that you probably would never talk to, but when you're ready to get an account set up and you want your stuff shipped out the same day, but you just called us for the first time to set up your account, this guy makes it happen fast. So here he is, David Durbin. Couldn't get it done without him. Great, great guy. Uh, furthermore, Hub's waste team has expanded to bring you the better service. So I'm standing here with Mike Hall here. Mike, uh, want to introduce yourself? Yeah, absolutely. I'm Mike Hall. I'm new with the team, and uh, I'm the leader of the inside group that's going to handle all the waste accounts. All right, and then we got Sam Helmick, that's also part of the team as well. She's obviously now on this video. Uh, we couldn't fit everybody on the same screen, so uh, hey, got Mike here today. Okay, is that okay? All right. So today's topic: back to um, cleaning the blades behind a waste truck. We did a video on this earlier, and we kind of went over a list of things you need, but then I had a really good friend named Roscoe Dorsey with Casella. He says, David, I like using the scoop shovel versus a regular shovel with a metal head because of this reason, and here it is. He says he uses a plastic scoop shovel because it doesn't nick the hose that connects to the cylinder that moves those blades. He says the metal shovel over time nicks it and starts to cut it and you have to end up doing repair work to it. So hey, there's a tip from a guy that's been in the industry for a very long time named Roscoe Dorsey uh, with Casella. He gave me that tip and it made sense to me so I thought I'd share it with you. All right, so Mike, you're working in the waste industry every day so it, it's spring's coming, right? Absolutely. So what does it do in the spring? In spring it rains. It rains a lot, okay? Every year we get these calls for rain suits. So, so you work with these folks, so what is one of your favorite rain suits you want to talk to them about? You know, one of the ones that I want to point out is a rain suit with a black bottom on it and black on the lid. These uh, rain suits are a little bit better because they don't show the dirt and it uh, keeps cleaner longer. Okay, so Mike, do you think uh, people that don't walk around with black spots on their bellies, they, they feel good about the job they're doing? They're probably going to feel a little better for sure. Okay, and, and, and if they get the rain suit, they probably feel a lot better because they're not wet all day too, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, so folks, hey, I've worked in the waste industry for a long time. Every year we get these phone calls for rain suits. So there's a lot of different rain suits. So yes, Mike points out one of the most popular ones. Um, it's, a, it's a black bottom rain suit with removable hood. It's got the bibs that go along with it, the whole nine yards. Then you've got a standard yellow rain suit that looks pretty much the same way. And then you got the golden oldie. It's the old rubber rain suit if you're looking to save some money on the P&L. Uh, it's one of the ones that everybody complains about that you can't breathe in, but it still gets the job done. So hey, Mike, is there anything else you want to share uh, with the folks in the waste industry? Uh, you want to come to Hub because we have every, all the products that you're going to want, and uh, we specialize in the service just for the waste industry, and we want to make sure we get you taken care of. Yep. Tip of the day, back to his point, we have a 365-day return policy on all unused quick ship items. That means if there's a picture in this book and you buy it and it shows up within 365 days of the original PO date, you can return it, no questions asked. So hey, give Mike, myself, or Sam Helmick a call. We're here to serve you. Ooh, ooh, ooh.